Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio. I'm here with Laura, and she's had some good results in the clinic, so I wanted to kind of take a moment, talk with her, and get um, her perspective on things. So tell us a little bit about how you were feeling when you first came in. I was feeling uh, not at an optimal health. I sure. had um, spikes uh, during the day in terms of uh, maybe a little bit too much frantic energy and then, <laughs> um, then feeling depleted. I was having trouble uh, losing weight. In fact, I was gaining weight, mm -hmm. regardless of how I altered my diet. Um, I had a lot of problems with sleep. Okay. Usually, I would wake up in the middle of the night and uh, around two in the morning and not be able to go back to sleep. No, it's not so, fun, I know. Right, <laughs> it wasn't fun. It, it was really affecting the quality of my life. Sure, sure. Uh, and then the arthritis, also. I have, yes, um, I have arthritis in my hands and a little bit in one knee. and. Um, those really affect the way I feel. So right. if right. Um, if I could find a way to, to get rid of the arthritis or at least keep it under control, that's important. Sure, sure. And and so um, she came in eating a, a fairly healthy diet. Um, definitely, a, you were taking steps to try to eat as healthy as you could. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely a diet that was higher in grains and some other inflammatory food. And so. I think it was a little bit of a of, of kind of news for you to, to think that some of the foods that you thought were really healthy may have been a little bit counterproductive, but we decided to do a dietary experiment. Um, and in conjunction with that, we did some lab work and we did find Hashimoto, so there was some thyroid inflammation. Um, so we did some work with, with her diet. We put her on the, the autoimmune paleo diet and we did some work to help with her thyroid hormone conversion to put the inflammation out in her thyroid gland. And then we also did some other support for some of her other hormones, and you responded really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about the change that you've seen in only about two months now. Well, um, first of all, I would just say that it all came as a surprise. <laughs> I had no idea that I had, um, I, I knew that I had a thyroid condition, sure. um, that I was hypothyroid, but I had no idea that it was as significant a problem as that. Right. And I also did not relate uh, what I was eating to that. So putting those two things together I think was really critical. Sure. Um, I thought I would have a lot of trouble with the elimination diet because uh, essentially we were taking out almost everything. Your that, staples, your yes, dietary staples. my yeah. dietary staples yeah. and I thought I'll never be able to do this. Right. But in fact I found it uh, very easy after the first couple of days as long as I planned and had the foods that I needed I always felt um, satisfied. Sure. I never felt hungry. And um, I've now been on that diet for two months and feeling really good on it. It regulated everything. So I don't feel deprived, which is really important when good. you're trying to change good. your eating habits. Um, I've lost uh, about a pound a week, so it's been about eight pounds of loss, which for me is a lot. Yeah, if you can't tell on the camera, she's not a she's a shorter shorter gal, so that's for your frame. <laughs> that's that's a fair amount of it's weight. It's a lot of weight, yeah. and I have a ways to go, but it's been really a good way to lose weight. Very steady, sure. not precipitous, where you sort of feel right. Um, right. Uh, I, I don't even know what the word is, but it feels really steady. Um, I'm sleeping well, boy. That counts for almost everything. <laughs> I thought I was fated to be an insomniac for the rest of my life, mm. but I'm now sleeping through the night, most nights, every once in a while I'm up, but by far my sleep has improved. I would say my sense of well-being, my energy level, everything's kind of uh, more regulated. I just sure. feel uh, the quality of my life has gone up a lot. Sure. And I'm no longer fe feeling pain in my knee. Good. Um, and less stiffness in my hands, which is where I had um, fairly significant arthritis. Right, right. Good. So yeah, she, she's done really, really well. And um, one of the things that you've probably heard me talk about is this conservative uh, model of functional medicine where we don't do a ton of testing and a ton of treatment. So um, with her, we've done just some preliminary stuff and that's gotten a lot of result. And now we're, we, we have some other things we, we may want to investigate with lab work, but we just had the conversation of, Let's see how much more she continues to improve with our current plan. And then when we follow up, if she's not all the way where we want her to be, then we can do the testing. But if she's feeling great, there's no need to do the testing. And we can just let her go off and live her life. And uh, I think that's probably going to be how it's going to be. It's, mm. it's fairly short, um, inexpensive process where we got right to the root of the problem. You're feeling better, and now you can go enjoy the nice sunny day. <laughs> and it is very empowering, I think. Um, yeah. We were just talking earlier about the importance um, as you age, and I'm 67, so um, I'm, uh, 
you have to get used to cha things changing your body. Sure. One of the things that's really important is to have a sense that you've got some control over what's going on. This made such major changes in my life that I realized I had attributed things to aging that actually weren't aging. Yeah. They were just, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, things not being functionally well. Sure. So now that that's um, been addressed really successfully, I have a really different idea about what's going on with myself and I don't feel, I feel younger and freer. Good, good. So she's done great. I'll continue to share these cases with you guys and thank you so much for taking a moment to talk sure. with us.